So we actually sent out our first questionnaire in June 1998, so five months after the beginning of the ice storm. It may be snowing now and the lights are on here in downtown Montreal, but back on January 9th, 1998, ice covered these streets and it was a complete blackout. It was the worst day of the historic ice storm called Black Friday by many. Millions were already without power, including some hospitals, and the time was a stressful one. That's when Project Ice Storm was born. Dr. Susan Suzanne King recently retired from McGill University and fellow researchers looking at the effects of stress on pregnant women and their children. We included women who were pregnant on January 9th, 1998. So there were some women who gave birth like a couple of days later and other women who gave birth nine months later. We would look, you know, first of all, at, at what happened to the women, like how many days without electricity. Uh, we would assess their level of stress uh, in terms of post-traumatic stress type symptoms. So when they think about the ice storm, does their heart still beat fast or do their palms get sweaty? Nearly 100 families continued to participate, children six months to 19 years of age. The research followed up with them almost every two years. The study shows that how long pregnant women went without electricity made a difference in children's IQ, body mass index, immune functions, insulin secretion, and risk of diabetes. These effects lasted at least into adolescence, said King. I don't think that children who were born in the Monterey in 1998 are some kind of a, a blip cohort that's passing through the population. King says there are other contributing factors when it comes to how the babies of the 1998 ice storm developed long term, that they are not all influenced by a mother's stress level alone. She adds that half the women found positive experiences in the ice storm, like coming together with their communities or families, while the other half felt neutral or negative. Pregnant women who are going through a stressful situation like a natural disaster, should be considered a vulnerable population. Project Ice Storm is also part of the Stress and Pregnancy International Research Alliance program, where Dr. King and others also look into the Fort McMurray fire, the Hurricane Harvey flood, COVID-19 pandemic, and more. Ample data to analyze for a researcher who recently retired. I'm allowed to keep my office for the next five years, and I intend to be uh, continuing to study and analyze all of that data. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.